how many carbs can I eat on keto? So this is gonna be highly dependent on the person and we're gonna talk about a few of the things that you can think about when you're asking yourself this question. So the first thing that we wanna think about is your overall metabolic health. So in general, the more metabolically healthy you are, the more carbs you can tolerate in general. And so we're thinking about that, we're gonna think about how insulin sensitive you are and how your body is able to regulate your blood sugar throughout the day. So in terms of insulin sensitivity, basically that just means that when you are more insulin sensitive, your body is able to take up carbs and utilize them more efficiently and effectively within your body. The better you're able to regulate your blood sugar throughout the day, the more carbs you can typically consume. So these are general, but this should give you an idea of some things to think about when you're thinking about you know, how many carbs you can personally consume. In terms of knowing how insulin sensitive you are, that's gonna go hand in hand with blood sugar regulation. So in order to know like if you're able to, if your blood sugar is regulated throughout the day, the some of the telltale signs are just how you feel after you consume a meal um, or after you consume carbs. You can test this objectively by tracking your blood sugar throughout the day or just subjectively thinking about, okay, am I feeling like I'm crashing you know, an hour after I eat a meal, um, that I need another meal or I need some type of food? That could be a telltale sign that you're, you might have some blood sugar dis dysregulation. Um, and then in terms of that, if you are feeling like you have stable blood sugar throughout the day, you could titrate carbs up a little bit and see how you do with that. If you're feeling like your blood sugar levels are kind of all over the place throughout the day, it might make sense to bring carbs down a little bit more and see how you do in that regard. So the amount of carbs you can eat on keto is also gonna depend on your personal activity level throughout the day. So depending on how, in general, the more active you are, the more carbs you can tolerate. And that is a very general statement. So to kind of think about your activity level, so if you are doing high intensity activity like for example CrossFit or Orange Theory or a workout class where you're doing a lot of um, HIIT training so high intensity interval training you are going to be utilizing carbs more for energy so replenishing those carbs is going to benefit that and so you might be able to tolerate more carbs and still remain in a state of ketosis versus someone who would be more if you were more sedentary um, or if you were doing more low intensity activity throughout the day so if you were just walking or riding your bike, you might not tolerate as many carbs and still be able to remain in ketosis. So those are just some things to think about your activity levels throughout the day, and then also just how active you are throughout the week as well. So the next thing to think about in terms of how many carbs you can eat on keto is your degree of metabolic flexibility. So metabolic flexibility is just your body's ability to use different fuel sources within your body. So we have two main fuel, fuel sources that we use for energy, carbs and sugar and fat and ketones. So metabolic flexibility is your ability to be able to easily transition between those two fuel sources. So the more metabolically flexible you are, typically the more carbs you can eat and get back into a state of ketosis. So in terms of the amount of carbs you can eat on keto, the more metabolically flexible you are, typically the more carbs you can eat um, in general. Okay, so the next thing to think about in terms of how many carbs you can eat on keto is where you're actually getting those carbs from. So carbohydrates come from all different places. And the biggest thing to think about is, do those carbs have fiber in them? So the foods that have more fiber in them are gonna have carbohydrates that are not actually uh, absorbable by your body. So if you're thinking of you know, consuming vegetables and fruits, you're gonna be actually not absorbing as many of the carbs within those vegetables and fruits, technically. Um, so the more fiber in the carb that you're eating and the more whole foods that carb is, the probably the more carbs that you're going to be able to eat versus if you were eating more processed or um, carbs that had less fiber in them. So when we're talking about carb sources and more specifically the amount of fiber in different carb sources, that's gonna be referred to as total carbs versus net carbs. So foods that have more fiber in them are going to have less net carbs. So that is going to be in the video talking about should I count total or net carbs. So if you wanna learn more about that, definitely check out that video. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about nutrition, fitness, or metabolic flexibility, you can check out our website, metflexlife.com. There you can find our podcast, okay. Metflex and Chill, our nutrition and exercise programs, our latest blog posts, free recipes, and much more.